The state grapples with an affordable housing issue. Several lawmakers are turning to faith for answers quite literally. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Eric Harriman is off tonight. Fox 40 Capitol reporter Aton Wallace introduces us to a bill that seeks to make places of worship part of the housing solution. While supporters of this bill say it's time for the state to find more creative housing solutions, and they argue this proposal will help, but not everyone is on board. Braving the rain and marching through the streets of downtown Sacramento, hundreds of carpenters and religious leaders took to the Capitol to urge support for a series of housing bills, among them Senate Bill 4. Supporters say SB4 is all about making it easier for religious organizations to build affordable housing on their excess land. The only way that we're going to help people actually stay here and survive and thrive is to build damn housing. Yeah. Oh. Senator Scott Weiner authored the bill. He says the legislation would allow houses of worship and nonprofit colleges to bypass some zoning laws and parts of California's environmental review process, something he says will streamline construction. We know that we have tens of thousands of acres of land that religious institutions in this state have that could become affordable housing. And that will be a game changer if we can open up that land. A game changer is also what he and some of his legislative colleagues call Senate Bill 423. It seeks to permanently extend a law permitting fast-tracked housing construction in communities that have not met housing goals laid out by the state to build a combined 2.5 million housing units over the next eight years. If local governments fall behind in their targets, the legislation will streamline the approval of new projects without concern of further delays or environmental lawsuits. Yeah. Assemblymember Buffy Wick supports the legislation. This is about solutions. Yes. This is about building the California that we want to live in. But the legislation does face some opposition. At least for now, the State Building and Construction Trades Council is not in support, arguing it does not do enough to guarantee competitive wages and worker protections. Quote, it falls significantly short of what we should be doing to protect these workers. But the Carpenters Union and their coalition of more than 180 groups say otherwise. We're pro-housing, we're pro-worker, pro-union, and we're pro-California. Anybody that wants to tweet that it's not a union bill is full of and late this afternoon, the bills made it through the Senate Housing Committee. They next head to the Senate Budget Committee. We, of course, will track these pieces of legislation every step of the way. Reporting at the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.